Team Jackson, what's happening? So I came across this post, man. I found it quite interesting. I want to know what you guys' thoughts are down in the comments. But it says, or actually it's a tweet, where it reads, You can truly dodge a bullet with men by inquiring to reschedule a first date day of and seeing how they respond. Okay, so she posted a text message screenshot where she says, Hey, I'm sorry to even ask this, but how do you feel about a weekend day instead of right now? We just got approval to launch a product and it's happening very quickly. The guy responds, are you joking? I'm showered, ready to go, and have planned my day around this. I understand work comes first, but to pull out this late is pretty disrespectful. If you're unable to respect me or my time, then I'm over it. Be well. Peace sign. So when I first saw this, I was thinking to myself, you know, without her posting this and just the text message conversation, neither, neither one of them are super wrong. Both of them have their right to their priority. You know, yes, she is dating, but this is early on in the dating phase. So she has every right to still put her work first, even if it does inconvenience somebody else. And he has every right to say, you know what? I put a lot of important things aside. And the fact that it's so close to the time we plan on going on the date, that should be more important to you than what you just told me is more important than this date. Like they both have a right to be simply incompatible and not make the best first impression on each other without being horrible but i think in what she posted it showed three glaring red flags of narcissism the first one is this there's intention behind her even saying you know she wanted to reschedule she even pointed out this is how you dodge a bullet to see how they respond it tells me she was playing mind games from the very beginning she intentionally did this to this guy to see how he would react to having his schedule toyed with now, who wants to play games? Why would you want to play games with somebody? See if you can play games with somebody to gauge whether or not you're intellectually superior or see if you can feel like you're inter intellectually superior. So why would you need to be intellectually superior to somebody? Why would that need to be a standard for anybody to be around you? Because you like to feel in control of other people intellectually. Narcissistic as hell. The second glaring red flag is that the key defining characteristic of any narcissist is the inability to empathize with others, especially in the way that the person impacts others. So empathizing meaning feel what you feel, feel how you impacted, inconvenienced, offended, hurt, et cetera, et cetera. So whenever you see an invalidation of feelings, that's the that's the inability to empathize. Why you have the inability to empathize? Because nobody else's feelings matters, but the narcissist. She's talking as if this guy was unreasonable for feeling disrespected. I don't think that he was. I think if anybody cancels other than death or illness, and it's last minute and yes you have a busy schedule yourself like you have every right to feel a way about it but as according to her post he doesn't in fact he's a bad person which brings me to number three the need for attention the call for attention by even posted this like this was so not post worthy unless you're a narcissist because narcissists need to frame the perception of themselves and the people that they deal with based on their liking, based on their own agenda. So she wants to look like the potential victim and then the hero. And then she was able to spot that, you know, this was a red flag of a dodge bullet. And this guy is just a bad guy. All men, matter of fact, you can kind of point this out in all men based on how they respond to clearly being disrespected. I honestly think he was quite reasonable in the way that he responded. He didn't call her out her name. He said how he felt. He said why he felt it. And then he stated his standards and said, you know what? I'm willing to walk away if you can't respect my standards. So with that being said, if anything, I would say this brother dodged a bullet. And yes, women can be narcissistic as well, which I talked about in my hour long masterclass, narcissistic abuse prevention strategies. Absolutely free. You can check it out before it comes down tonight in the caption below. But I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comments. I'll let y'all later.